right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Man, we got a house divided. Some people like the game like myself. Some people hate the game like other people, man. I can't get mad at either because we don't like the same things in this world. We don't. We don't. We all don't like the same thing, so it is what it is. Uh, we got my boy Joe Knows. He's on. He's doing the world's best detective work, saying, you know, he, he sees why the game might be quote-unquote dead. Um, you know, we got Mike Wong. He's talking about a few things, talking about um, attributes. Do they matter? Do they not matter? Whatever, whatever, whatever. And then, you know, we got a couple of shout outs to the people, man. And of course, I got to give, uh, I got to give it up to my guys, man. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video, man, because we're going to have a good discussion today about is this game dead? Um, how I feel about the game? Do you think this is one of the better 2Ks in a long time? Or is it just garbage? All that and more right after this. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Before we even get started, man, I gotta give a big shout out to my guys, man. Hey, look, man, Logo Triumph is back in the building. Um, I don't know if y'all know who Triumph is, man. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him tell y'all his story and all of that good stuff. We're gonna put his link down in the description. Um, he streams on Twitch, all that good stuff, and uh, he he is. I, I don't even know if I want to tell y'all, man, just because of the fact that he's a good guy. He's a regular dude like everybody else. But you see the I, I don't know if that's a, I guess that's a make a wish um, joint. So that means that he has some type of challenge or what have you but the dude is a really good guy man he's just a good dude man you know what i'm saying like i don't know if y'all know how near and dear stuff like that is to my heart because my son has a disability my son is autistic and uh though it's not the same type of thing you know maybe he might, maybe he can see somebody like triumph pushing through and saying you know never complaining just playing the game doing what he do no matter what happens he loves 2k and uh you know he plays the game and he gets busy too i'm not even gonna lie to y'all but he got his he got his logo man it's well deserved i just want to put that out there man hey godspeed to you logo uh triumph back in the building up next man the most conceited uh, who puts the logo over their head in the thumbnail, bro. Logo brood in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Well deserved for my boy, man. Hey, look, man. We've been out here doing this thing for years, you know what I'm talking about, man. Hey, man. We, we, he rubbed brute putting on for the logo squad. The brute squad is not logo squad, man. Can't even hate on that, man. But like, bro, really, he put the logo over his head in the thumbnail. How conceited do you have to be? To put the logo over your head in the thumbnail. Bro! Bro! I hate it, but it is. I'm just joking, man. That's my dog, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Hey, big ups to my guy, Brute, man. He is one of the best content creators out there that does it. And, uh, you know, like he said, we did it. He did it the right way. I'm going to say, what part of Brute Squad? We did it the right way. We got there. Um, and he just proved that you don't have to compromise yourself. You don't have to compromise your content. You don't have to do any of that uh, fakery and and freak stuff to get it you know what i'm talking about. you don't got to be acting weird you don't have to be doing all that other stuff you can actually be you be who you are do what you dozzle and you can too can get a logo and the same thing with trial it's okay like you know what i'm saying like just be who you are and you get the logo and that's it it's about the dedication to put it in a lot of people be talking about it devalues the logo what's the value of having a thing a virtual joint over your head anyway like if you're saying that that certain people getting the logo devalues it, then you're really saying that you really want it and you're upset that you didn't get it. I don't think it devalues it. Like, like just because somebody don't have the amount of subs that you got or the viewing or the following that you got, that mean they're not putting in as much work. You telling me that my mom and dad, we, we're not rich, right? We wasn't rich, but you telling me that just because my mom and dad weren't rich, that they weren't putting in the amount of work that everybody else was putting in. They probably, you got dudes out here dropping two, three videos a day streaming for hours. They just can't get traction, but you just caught traction and you just happen to get it. And that devalues it because they're not, they, you don't feel like they grinding without you because they haven't reached the amount of success that you got. 
come on, man. That's got to be the most absurd statement I've ever heard from, from all the content creators and all of that, man. Some people out there with thousands of videos with four, 500 subs and they uploading every day. Those people ain't grinding hard enough to get a logo, man. That's dedication to the game. They streaming every day at the bottom of Twitch with one or two, with one or two viewers, but they love the game and they keep on putting on for the game. So just because they don't have traction, that doesn't mean that they are, they are less deserving of a logo than somebody else. I get what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, somebody with a million subs should have a logo, but that doesn't mean that somebody with a million subs is grinding harder than somebody with a thousand subs. That's all I'm saying. I hope y'all, I know, I know y'all are intelligent enough to understand what I'm trying to say here. Just because you got a big following, a lot of guys that got a big following, they don't even upload every day anymore. They don't put on for the game and stuff like that anymore. So, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, even though it would behoove 2K to do it, it's just like, I don't know, man. Let's not even get into that stuff, man. Speaking of, speaking of, uh, you know, stuff, speaking of 2K and it being dead, man, uh, my guy Joe knows. He put out this joint and he's just showing that you on current gen. He said current gen on the twos after one game, out, 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 out one game after the twos today. And just look, man, sidelines is packed. Sidelines are packed. And then he just says, I don't think all the, I don't think that, I don't think all the 2K dead talk is accurate. I think it's just console availability. And we already know that's what it is because like me and Bruce said, we put out the news, the videos, boom. You put out a tutorial, a jump shot or something like that, actual gameplay, nah, you, you're not gonna get that many views. And the reason that you aren't is because people don't generally wanna watch things that they, that they only with cars do we wanna, cars and money and women and stuff like that do we wanna watch things that we, that we can't attain or what have you. But something that we feel like we can attain, like this PlayStation or whatever, bro, people really are probably out there grinding to try to get the PlayStation. They don't really want to watch nobody just playing the game, but they will listen to the news and I can completely understand that. So, you know, it is what it is. It's give and take in this whole thing, man. I got it. I understand it. Don't mean I necessarily like it because I'm. You know, I thought this was going to be the year. I, I thought it was going to be the inverse effect, right? I thought that if you didn't have the console, you would want to watch it and a lot of people, they were going to be thirsty for the content. But I guess, like, I guess everything changed to where if you don't have it, then you you know you just don't really want to watch. I completely understand that. But like, why would I want to watch a tutorial or a gameplay on a game that I don't have? I can't learn anything because a lot of people watch gameplays to learn things and see what they can do. And they probably just feel like if I can't learn anything from it at this point in time, then there's really no point in me watching. Like, why would I watch that? I can't steal no moves from Brute. I can't learn how to do some certain moves from Jay. I can't know what the good shooting spots because I'm not playing the game yet. But once they unlock the consoles and a lot more come out, I think that we're going to be in a much better spot. But I think that's good justification right there, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you just because of the fact that that's, that's how things go. Up next, we got your boy Mike Wong, man. He's, he's talking about this. Uh, Baluba, do attributes always matter or does badge take over uh, once applied? And Baluba says attributes always matter. Badge basically enhances your existing rating. And that's what we've always said. A badge should not give you the grant me the ability. Now, I'm not going to lie, deep threes. I think deep threes probably uh, unlock some stuff. And we know this. We know that's not completely true all the time. You're not getting a chase down if you don't have chase down artists on. You're barely protecting the rim if you don't have rim protector on. You're not hitting corner threes at a high clip. So, so I get what you're saying. Like, you can hit some corner threes. You're just not going to hit them at a high clip. But I know that you're not getting off-ball pest animations if you don't have off-ball pest on. Uh, you can't unlock chase downs unless you put chase down artists on. You're really not protecting the rim. So, it does enhance your ability to do things in some situations. But at the same time, there, there are some situations I feel like it grants you ability. Let me know down in the comment section if y'all agree with that. Not always, but some, like clamps. You're really not clamping nobody whether you got it on or not. Uh, uh, up next then we somebody asked uh can we do something about can we do something to make sure players actually play d uh on ball d on on in my team nothing worse than playing someone who only controls the uh the center is disgusting and mike says user control defenders get much larger boost to defensive impact compared to uh cpu defenders uh they also they also get more favorable body up resolution uh, and other things. I don't think nobody getting favorable body up resolution to be real with you. So it's a big disadvantage to play off ball in my team. And yes, it is. And then uh, Swan Swan, the OG Grandmaster Sensei says, but off, but on ball D uh, even more. That I can't, but I can't read from distance in in light mode. My eyes too damn old. Y'all know my birthday was yesterday or sometime this week, man. So you know I'm like 95 years old. Okay, uh, buff on ball D. Uh, even more, this is this is good 
uh, this is good that you're focusing on this. Perimeter contest need a buff. Uh, fading needs a nerf. I completely agree with all of the stuff that the OG Grandmaster Sensei is saying, and I'm glad that he is. Um, I'm glad that that you know people are speaking up about the game because, bro. I feel like this is a really good game. I feel like this 2K is a good 2K. I feel like it could be one of the better 2Ks out there. And um, I, I really just feel like the reason that a lot of people are upset is because you can't just straight dominate the game the way that you want to and make people look like they can't play anymore because everybody can do everything. And let me explain that. See, I made the concession that when they said that, like, like a lot of content creators are upset about it, but when they said everybody can do everything, when people were saying, let's do away with pie charts. When people were saying, let's do this, let's do that. This is when people should have been screaming, saying, no, we don't want to do away with pie charts. If you want a game to stay competitive, you got to have some cash, some type of cash system and have it so that not everybody can do everything. You can do a whole lot of things, but you have to, you have to need other players. You have to have the need for other players. So like right now in this game, like people feel like there's no need for a center. I feel like there's a need for a center. But like everybody being able to handle the ball at a high clip, everybody being able to shoot at a high clip, everybody being able to do everything, that's really tough to maintain the competitive integrity. So I made the concession that when they said that everybody was gonna be, do, be able to do everything and people was asking for that, I was always like, y'all don't know what you're asking for. It's just like there was a movie when I was younger. It was called Christmas Every Day, right? Little girl wished that there was Christmas. Y'all, a lot of y'all old as hell like me, man. Y'all know. Little girl wished it was Christmas every day. And for the first week or so, it seemed great. But after that, when the money started running down and the dad had to get another job and stuff like that, and now you got 15 uh, cakes that you haven't eaten and all types of stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? You got 30 kittens and stuff like that. Like, it, it, it really starts to add up and say, huh, this might not have been such a good idea. Like another one's an ABC movie called All the Money in the World, right? And it was like, uh, the dude was like, like, I wish for all the money in the world, all the money in the world came, they packed it in a barn house or something like that. When he got all the money in the world, nobody else had any money. So even if he bought something, he got the money right back. They even tried to make up fake money and said, hey, uh, we gonna call these joints Dillons, I'm gonna give you 20 Dillons. But when they did that, that turned into money and he got that money too. So the whole point of what I'm saying is, you have to be careful what you ask for. And the, commu the 2K community is a community who has proven time and time again, we don't know what we want. You think you want that. And then when I give you what you said you wanted, you realize how much you probably really didn't want that or you didn't want it in that exact iteration, I guess is what is what I'm trying to say. Like you really think that you want something, but when everybody can do everything, I keep saying it over and over. If everybody can do everything, like make 38% contested shots when you get fouled and, and three people on you, I got to guard that too. So if I'm a center on the perimeter and I want to say, I want to say, I want to be a center on the perimeter and I want to dribble. <laughs> yes! Kill him! That's what I'm, look, look, look. This is what I'm talking about right here, bro. If I can do this right here, then I'm going to have to guard somebody. Then y'all didn't even know I had stuff like that in the arsenal, man. I be trying to take it light on y'all, man. I got stuff like that in the arsenal, bro. But look. If I can do stuff like that, then could y'all even see it? Hold on, let me go back. I might have to take myself out of the picture. Could y'all? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all was able to see it. Yeah. If I can do stuff like that, I have to be capable of guarding it, and I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to guard that, bro. Every single time, with a six seven coming down, that's moving at the speed. Like a lot of people don't know what they were asking for, and so when you ask for something like that, well, my guy, I don't even got dribbling in my bill, but I can do that and I can dribble, and I can shoot, and I can go to the rim at a high clip. I'm gonna have a 90 driving dunk when it's all over with. I'm gonna get all the contact dunks. I'm gonna have like, like it's gonna be crazy, man. But when I can do all of this, I can not only shoot the three ball, but I can dribble some enough to get somebody off me, and I can play defense. I gotta guard that too. And these other guys, they've sacrificed, and, and knowing that these guys have sacrificed defense, so that they can play even more offense. Can you imagine what that's like to some players? Some people don't care about offense. They feel like, I mean defense, they feel like you can't play defense anyway. A lot of people actually made the concession in this game. Look at that, man. Two people, two beasts, huh? Like, come on, man. Like, this is a center build that y'all said was trash. If I can do all of this with this guy and shoot threes, come on, man. 
and then then somebody sacrifices defense and then I got to guard this, it's gonna be tough. Like I said, I, I, just, I just think a lot of times we we get what we ask for and you get it because you ask for it and a lot of people just don't realize was that what, what I really wanted. Do you really want this guy that can play defense on you in the paint, get all the rebounds, I got high 90 rebound and, 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 and all that stuff, man. and I got an 80 speed so I'm pretty fast. Do you really want that? I don't think that any of us really anticipated that something like, did we think we were the only ones that can make a good bill or see that this, the bills were broken? Or did you not realize that when you put out the best bill video that you were going to have to play against that best bill? Because you you know how tired I get of playing against this bill? when Because my because the people that got the game that are my fans, or not fans, I want to say, my supporters, they say Jay was the best center bill. They, they made this bill. And it's annoying as hell to play against because I can't go inside on it. They're going to get damn near all the rebounds. And if you leave me, yo, bro, I'm going to fire that gas. It's like, what? I, I, you can't really do nothing. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, I understand people's frustration with the game. I think that's the main frustration is people just feel like they can't dominate no more. Y'all let me know, are there really any real, real, real issues with the game? Game look at me with a toxic way. Are there really any real issues with the game right now? I like the game. I like being able to be very multifaceted or what have you. I don't like being relegated to a role where all I can do is sit in the corner. I like to be able to be able to, like this is, this is what I really feel like it is. People, play the game and they used to be able to hide behind their lockdown or be like well my bill can't play defense so you got to play defense so you elect somebody to play defense and then you play somebody that's less offensively skilled but it ain't no hiding and it ain't no help coming this time this time it ain't no hiding it ain't no help coming your ass has to play offense and you have to play defense. You're not just gonna go sit in the corner and play and and you know and hug the corner and keep somebody from doing backdoor cuts all day. If you get a ball to him, then this dude, we already know on these pro-am teams, nine times out of ten, the off guard is better than the point guard. So now if the if you say, Well, I got him, and then you know you got now, now you about to get cook cook it's about that's what's about to happen. And then it's all the way down to the center where if you make the wrong center bill, you go get cooked. So it, it just is what it is, man. I don't know if we can keep. Y'all let me know if y'all want to keep this way going forward. And if you made it this far, let me get a jump start down in the comment section. But let me know what y'all think of the major issues with the game. I cannot think of any major issues right off the top of my head. 2K19, it was the snatchback, the blowbys, and the, I'm 18 was snatchback, blowbys, and uh, pull-ups, you know, in people's faces. That, that was the most glaring holes with the game. Uh, 2K20, I mean 2K19 was uh, pushing up until this point. 2K20 was the was the crazy behind the back, but I just can't think of. And this one, I felt like it was just a lagging in the park, but it feels like this is a really smooth and good game. And I know that we're going to run into what the issues are, but let me know what y'all think the issues are right now and why people say the game is dying. I don't think the game is dying. I just think that we need to be more open-minded and be more accepting of what we ask for. Like, bro, you can't ask to be able to do everything and then really think that everybody else is going to be stupid and they're going to make a bill that can't do everything. Like some people, like, you're going to tell people that you don't need to max out interior and then you think they're going to do it and then and then handicap their bit. No, that's not what's going to happen. You said you don't need it. They're going to trust you and they're going to go by that. But you know it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hey, shout out to Brute. Shout out to Triumph, man. Go check them guys out. I'm going to leave the links in the description. And uh, let me, like I said, let me know what y'all major issues with the game. I know there's some issues, but I just don't see them right now because I'm having a ball with the game. I think it's a lot of fun. And most people, regular people in the comment section, they don't have no problem with the game. It's just content creators that's bitching about the game and this and that. Look, I get it. If you can't play the game the, the way that you want to play it, it makes the game not fun to you. But it doesn't make it a bad game, and that's something that we got to stop. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, the one that came out last year, I couldn't rush anymore because of the loud ass feet. I felt like it wasn't a bad game. I just couldn't play it the way that I wanted to play it anymore. So I had to play it uh, a different way, strategize, and we played the hell out of that game. I played with T. Mizzle, was putting up 30 a game because I had to adjust my game, but that didn't make it a bad game. What made it a bad game was the loud ass feet, poor player visibility, bad hit detection, and all that. That's what made it a bad game, but it was still fun. But you know, stuff like that. So I don't know, man, but this one right, this is the, the one Cold War. Um, it's a good game when you get in trash lobby. Skill-based matchmaking is what's making that game terrible, but you know, y'all understand what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Man. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.